going on guys? Ron Moore here, back with another episode. I'm at Lean Fit Healthy Headquarters at Fundamental Fitness Conditioning. Today's video is all about fitness quarters and why it's important to break it down into the first quarter of fitness, second quarter of fitness, third quarter of fitness, and fourth quarter. <laughs> So something I've been doing the last few years with my clients is, you know, I realize there's a pattern. Uh, depending on the season, depending on the time of year, there's going to be different barriers, there's going to be different uh, troubleshooting, there's going to be different principles, your exercise might change, uh, your eating habits might change. It really depends on what quarter of fitness it is. So right now we're ending the third quarter of fitness, so it's the end of September. So it doesn't matter what happened July, August, and September, right now you're gonna to have to have a new game plan leading into that fourth quarter of fitness, which is October, November, and December. Typically I find one of the toughest uh, quarters of fitness because you've got lots of holidays coming up. So something that you wanna keep in mind, today's video is just really illustrating the point that uh, in, the, in a calendar year, if you split it up into four quarters of fitness, you're gonna realize there's a trend. First quarter of fitness, January, February, March. It's going to be the peak time where you're excited about it. You New Year's resolutions, you might start the year off on a good note. And the second quarter of fitness, you know, you've got April, May, and June leading into springtime. So your eating pattern is going to change, exercise might change, you might start going outside. At the start of each quarter, you should identify some goals. You want to make sure that you want to set your exercise frequency. You want you have some intentions of what you'd like to do. And also change up your, your meal plan. If you're eating the same things all the time, you're gonna get bored of it. So it's really important to have some variety. So that's why I like to think of it as quarters of fitness. It always feels like a fresh start. So with fitness guys, novelty will wear off at some point. If you've been working out for a while, you've been doing the same program. So that quarters of fitness will allow you to change it up, change your workouts, and maybe change kind of your, your mindset of what your intentions are for the next few months. So that's something that I wanted to, wanted to discuss. If you're new to the Lean Fit Healthy program, the quarters of fitness is, plays an important role, and as you can see why. So you need to look at fitness uh, depending on the calendar year. Uh, sometimes it's okay, I mean, especially heading into the fourth quarter of fitness now, it's okay to just maintain. We shouldn't always have that uh, intention of always losing weight because there's nothing wrong with taking a quarter of fitness and just trying to stabilize. Because if you look at the trend uh, there was a study out in New England Journal of Medicine that uh, annually 3% increase the average person uh, is, is putting on for a male versus a female, which is 5%. So something to keep in mind, if you're maintaining your weight, that's success sometimes. So you have to frame it uh, differently at times. So that's about it, guys. Think about, guys, if you look at quarters of fitness, you start each quarter of fitness with some intention, set some frequency, and always review. And at the end of the quarter of fitness, see how you did, and then start fresh that next quarter of fitness. Remember, it's never too late, guys, to get in shape. And at the end of the day, make a decision and a commitment to getting in the best shape of your life. Make it happen.